P6 project thresholds and issues give the user the ability to set trigger values on project performance and then generate an issue when a variance is detected. Therefore using thresholds and issues to monitor project performance can be a useful aid for project managers. To set thresholds, first select Project in the main menu. Select Thresholds from the drop-down to open the page. A threshold has already been added. CV Cost Variance. Click in the Threshold Parameter cell. The Select Threshold Parameter window displays. Note the options. From the list select CV again. Click the green Select button. In the General tab you need to establish the threshold parameters. Set the lower threshold value. Set the upper threshold value. Click on the WBS to monitor ellipses. Selecting a single WBS to monitor narrows down the data to review. Issues will only be generated for variance in the selected WBS. From the Select WBS window, select the WBS to monitor. Select the detail to monitor. You can monitor at the WBS level or activity level. Select Activity. The status is enabled. The other option is disabled. Set the issue priority. 1 for top and 5 for lowest priority. Set 3 normal priority. Select the Details tab. Set the from date to monitor. In this case PS Project Start. Select the to date. In this case DD Earliest Data Date. In the main menu, select Tools. To generate project issues, the Monitor Threshold function must be run. Select Monitor Thresholds. Select Monitor. Select OK to close the Issue Complete window. Issues have been generated based on the threshold values. Click on any issue. Selecting Go To will open up the issue for review in the Issue page. The selected issue shows a cost variance of $4,000. Review the issue and set a resolution date. Select a resolution date. Select the Issue Details tab. The Details tab shows the activity and resources that the issue relates to. It also lists the threshold values and the actual variance values. Select the Notes tab. Select Modify to type a note. Type a detailed message to the person who will resolve the issue and then click OK. Select Tools to go to the Issue Navigator. In the Tools drop-down, select Issue Navigator to open up the Issue Navigator. Select the Notify button to launch the Communication window. Verify the message content. Add additional notes if required. Click Send All to email to the responsible resource and then click Close. Select Activities. This opens up the Activities page. Select Close to exit the Issue Navigator window. Using thresholds and generating issues, identified problems can be tracked for resolution. Using the email function and sending issues to responsible staff can aid a PM in the ongoing management of a project. 